Hello and welcome back. Uh, so we start our second part of the session uh, on the introductory and the background, uh, statistical and mathematical background for data science. And we will move on to the practical or uh, hands-on. Uh, however, this session will be a bit uh, longer uh, because uh, I plan to give a background of Python and show how Python code is usually structured how to work with Python, and uh, also will guide you through the installation. Okay. So for Python installation, I would suggest uh, to install it using Anaconda rather than uh, only Python. Uh, it comes with a lot of enriched features. You get uh, the Py Jupyter Notebook. Apart from that, uh, Anaconda installs uh, most of the data science related uh, Python libraries. Uh, otherwise, you have to install them separately uh, as we go forward. Uh, so um, just uh, go to um, just install. And also Anaconda uh, does the uh, basic prerequisites and settings of your system uh, so that you can easily run uh, Python. Uh, the difference is the difference uh, of Anaconda between uh, Windows and Mac. In Mac, uh, you can run uh, Python uh, from your command console once you have installed. Anaconda, but uh, in Windows, you would get a uh, separate an Anaconda command prompt, and from there, you can do Python related activities. Uh, so, here is the Anaconda website, and you can go to the download button, scroll down there, and once you click the download button, you get the uh, installers. Uh, select the installers and make sure you select any installer with Python version uh, 3.6 or above. Uh, and here, next, we discuss uh, how a basic uh, background of Python. Uh, if you are already uh, familiar with Python, you might want to skip this section. Okay, so let's see. So Python uh, code or instructions are generally written in a .py file. And this each .py file acts as a Python module. And uh, <laughs> inside a Python module, you can write Python functions uh, and follow the procedural approach of programming, or you can write uh, Python classes and follow the object-oriented method of programming. However, you can go ahead and do a hybrid of both approaches. And uh, you can also uh, write it like a script without any functions or classes. And once if you, if you execute a module, <coughs> the code instructions within the file get in, uh, executed. That's what you can see on the right hand side. There's no function, no classes. Also, uh, your Python modules uh, can be organized uh, inside a hierarchical folder structure in the form of packages. So you can see uh, here the test module 3 is under com and dom. So it's the com.dom package and it contains test module 3, the module. Uh, to identify whether a folder is a Python package or not, you need to put an underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file in it, uh, which is basically an empty file and an indicator of a package. Okay. So next you can see, uh, you can go to your command prompt, or if you install through Anaconda, uh, then you can go to your Anaconda prompt and type Python. You get a Python prompt. Here you can write the Python code snippets or Python instructions. Uh, as you can see, I have written one plus two, two is uh, the Python code, and it is three. I have created a variable s with hello, and then I have stripped it of the space, and then I have exited from the Python uh, prompt. Uh, you can run your code. You can run your instructions that reside within a Python module by simply typing Python and uh, the name of the module dot PyPy. Okay, and uh, that's after Python is installed. And uh, but remember, all modules that you run uh, should exist on the Python path. So if you, your if the module exists exists on the current directory from where you are executing your Python command, then you don't need to add it explicitly to the Python path because the current directory is by default added to the Python path. Also, if you want to install something, uh, some external library, some library that is not already within your Python uh, installation, 
you can use keep install. Uh, the spelling is incorrect here. You have to give a double L and the uh, scikit learn spelling is also mistake. So this shows uh, how to install a scikit learn library. However, please note that the spelling of scikit learn A L E A R N. And uh, you can refer to other Python modules from within your Python module using the import in the top. You can see. Uh, so you can see I am referring to the NumPy library as np using the import command, uh, which is the library for all numerical operations on matrices and uh, vectors. I am also referring one of my modules, uh, test module one, and I am referring a class in the format from this module to import my class. So these are uh, the few basic things how Python works. The uh, Python instructions are pretty simple and intuitive and we will uh, see as we do some simple programming of our basic statistical concepts. Okay. So you can install a Python and uh, point your Python to a working directory and create your Python modules and classes so inside that directory. Uh, it gives you a nice interface to work with, uh, gives you suggestions. Uh, so it's a very good way when you when we create projects, uh, we can work with uh, PyCharm. As we dive, dive deep into this module, uh, we will explore PyCharm also. But initially, we will learn the different Python instructions and how we could implement the different statistical formulas. Uh, we will use the Python notebook. It comes with Anaconda. And uh, you can also, uh, this is how it opens in a browser. You can create a notebook file through the browser, and this is how it looks. Uh, you can write set of instructions in each of the cells and execute them by clicking Shift Enter, or you also you have a set of control points on top menu. So we will uh, do our initial hands-on exercise using our Jupyter notebook, and I'll show you how to run that Jupyter notebook. Okay.